Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today we're going to talk about rapture boxes. Some people don't know what they are. Some people may have never heard of them. And some people may have but aren't sure what to put in them. I'm going to show you what I have in mine. Mine's not a, a large um, box, but I will share with you what I have in mine. Maybe it'll give you an idea. I also wrote a left behind letter, and I'll read that to you as well so you can take notes and maybe make your own or if you would like a copy of what I have um, you can email the address down below and I would be happy to send that to you um, I also I have these they're called don't be left behind they're little tracks that I keep in my purse they're from Billy Graham and I have a big bag of these tracks I will go to the library and I will find the popular books that they have sitting on the shelf and I will slip one of these into usually somewhere in the first or second chapter. I will also um, look for books that are satanic, like let's say um, I put one in a book that was... Um, uh, learning how to make witches spells and um, cast uh, demons onto people and um, like witchcraft stuff. I put one of these in there. Um, in romance novels, I put these in the romance novels. So right in the middle while they're reading the romance novel, this will pop out right there. So I also go and I leave them in bathrooms and I will leave them anywhere that I can really on shelves in stores I'll just kind of stick one there or I'll stick one in a box of um, whatever like a, a vacuum or whatever you just put these anywhere make sure that you really read through them because some of them don't speak the truth or some of them leave out certain things but I trust Billy Graham so I picked this up on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. I think they're like two bucks a for a pack of 24. So I grabbed a bunch of those. Um, so in my Rapture box, this is my little box here that I have. I have a CD set from Charles Stanley called the Coming of Christ. There's a four sermon set in there. Um, and it tells about what it's about on the back. Um, it says, are you ready to see Jesus face to face? Even though the Bible tells us that the Lord's coming will be sudden and unexpected, Christians should prepare by living faithfully and productive lives. In this four sermon set, um, Charles Stanley teaches your love for God is reflected in how you live your life so that would be a good one to leave put this over here I also have from Charles Stanley I have this one messages on heaven and it talks about um, let's see here uh, let's see. So he talks about it. The only door to heaven, eternal life, how do you get it? The God who cares enough to prepare a place called heaven and life in our heavenly home. He talks about that. This is a, a CD set also. A six sermon CD set. And of course, you know, people talk about an EMP being out and power outages and stuff. And I'm sure that probably will happen. So um, I would leave batteries and maybe even find a um, uh, a radio or something that that isn't powered by electricity. Something that you could put batteries in. Um, here's the letter. I'll read that last. Here's a book called Rapture Happened, Left Behind, What's Next? Tribulation um, Survival Guide. And the author is Terry Malone. And it basically talks about um, what is gonna be happening, um, 
what is the rapture of the church, who will be taken, tribulation period, surviving the tribulation period, how much time will transpire between the rapture and the, and the tribulation, what is the mark of the beast, and um, it goes on, there's 137 pages of that. I also have just two more CDs from Charles Stanley. Um, I don't know where part one went, but this is part two and three, Life in Our Heavenly Home and A Place Called Heaven, so that they can know what we've been talking about this whole time. All of us Christians have been talking about heaven, and they can hear what um, another person is talking about, and hopefully they will come to Jesus during that period. I also have another book, um, As It Is in Heaven by Greg Laurie. And this talks about um, the longing for heaven and how they can enter into heaven, what's going to happen during the tribulation, and so a lot of reading material. Um, I have another set and I don't know what I did with it. I've been looking for it all day. Um, it is from, let's see here, Tom Hughes, Pastor Tom Hughes. And it is also on heaven and the Antichrist and all of that. And I don't know what happened to it. So I'm going to be looking for that to add to my box. Um, I've heard some people say that they, they put money in there. Don't leave money, okay? Because one, money's not going to get you anything. Um, it's going to be pretty swift. And, you know, the, um, the microchip is coming very quickly. It's, uh, they're trying to make it a cashless society where you use cards with those little chips in it. Um, so cash isn't really going to get people anything, and I would not leave cash behind. I would, um, just a second. Okay. Um, get a drink and go outside, please. Um, I would leave maybe some cans of, uh, freeze-dried food, um, that would be possible, uh, maybe a can opener, a, a manual can opener. Um, that's really it. Maybe, like I said, some freeze-dried uh, food, maybe some bottles of water. Um, you could stock up on that. But um, as far as leaving cash, I really wouldn't advise that. I'm going to read my Rapture Left Behind letter. I um, I hope you uh, take some of it, make your own. Um, like I said, if you would like a copy, I would be more than happy to send you one. And you can then take it and photocopy it over and over again if you choose. Um, or you can even use these as your tracks and leave them places where you want to go. So... How terrified you must be now. Millions of people just suddenly disappeared without warning, throwing the world into a tailspin. The rumors are probably an alien abduction. It was something nuclear or maybe even spontaneous combustion. In your fear, these may sound like a logical explanation, but know this, there is only one truth. God has raptured or snatched away his church, his church as promised in 1 Thessalonians, 416. For the Lord himself would descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, so we shall always be with the Lord. Praise God, for his word is truth. Many people will shout that the rapture could not have happened because they are still here. God would have never reject, rejected such a good person. God has not rejected you, but instead you have rejected him. 
He gave you his holy word with the Bible. He sent his only son to die for you, gave us the Holy Spirit to testify this truth. He laid out the truth of what was to come and you still rejected him. I hope you choose not to curse him now for judging you unworthy. He loves you even still and it's not too late. You will first have to endure the hell on earth that is to come, but if you choose him now, you will be saved in the end. The time is now. Give yourself over to Jesus and ask him to save you and forgive you of your sins. You very well may not survive the tribulation period that is coming. As many people will perish over what is to come, please do not delay in asking him in your heart today. Once you have accepted Jesus as your Savior, you will need to stay alive as long as you can. Prepare yourself for the world's worst earthquake ever felt. World, world, <laughs> world War III, diseases, destruction of trees and grass, the water all over the world will be turned to blood, among other things. You will not be able to buy or sell anything without the mark of the beast, which will be disguised as a microchip implant. They will, give, they will make it sound so appealing, and a lot of people will take it. Do not take it. Once you do, your soul is given over to the devil, and there is no going back. This man will come out and make a peace treaty with Israel for seven years. He will have all the answers to every problem and will seem genuine, but he is not. He is the devil in human form. It will seem like peace has finally come to the world, but after three and a half years, this man will break the treaty and demand everyone to follow him. This is when things are going to go from bad to worse. If you make it this far and you have accepted Jesus, do whatever you can to survive until your Savior takes you home. Save as much drinking water as you can. Food, uh, prepare food storage. Take everything from my freezer and my cabinets. Vitamins, medical supplies, bandages, gauze, peroxide, etc. Stockpile as much as you can now. You won't be able to get it later if you don't take the mark. Grab a Bible now. They will become illegal once... I'm sorry. They will become illegal to have one or buy one later. Read it. Pour over it. Pray over it. Last thing, find a safe place to hide. You may have to leave your house and hide in the mountains, but hide. God has given us his word through the Bible in an attempt to save you from this hell that's about to take place. He said this would happen thousands of years ago and you have put it off or just didn't believe it was true. I want nothing more than to see you in heaven with the rest of us. Um, ask Jesus in your heart now. If you choose to do this, then say this prayer. Jesus, I am a sinner. I have rejected you and I am sorry. I choose to repent for my sins and turn to you the rest of my life. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. From this, from this day forward, I choose you. Please come in my heart and save me so that I may live with you forever. Please help me in the days to come. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, that's a lot, you know. And whoever is left behind that's going to be reading that, I'm sure that they are scared and they are going to be um, wondering what to do next. They're going to be in so much fear that a lot of people are going to take the mark out of fear. They're going to... Um, not know what's happened. A lot of children are going to go missing. Um, people who thought that they were Christians, but they weren't, and they're still left behind. And like I said in the letter earlier, um, they're going to explain it away. Well, the rapture couldn't have happened because I'm still here. I'm a Christian, right? And I'm still here. There are a lot of people who will have thought that they were Christians, but they're going to know exactly what happened. And hopefully they will turn their ways and realize that they weren't Christians to begin with and ask Jesus into their heart. Ultimately, you know, this tribulation that is coming, a lot of people are, um, they're going to die, you know. And we can tell them to run to the nearest mountain or hide out like a caveman in the woods somewhere um, and that might last for a little bit but you will eventually run out of food you will eventually run out of water and they will actually end up coming for you and who's to say that you know the um, 
judgments coming on the earth, you know, that you're not going to be part of that. So, you know, I, I just urge anybody who's watching this who might not be a Christian, I urge you right now to come to Jesus. Do not wait until this tribulation comes. Come to him now so that when he does come in the clouds and takes his church home, that you will be with us for eternity, that you will not have to deal with this tribulation. You won't have to worry about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. A lot of, you see um, these documentaries about these people building underground bunkers and stockpiling food and, you know, like I said, that might help for a short period of time, but it's not going to get you through the entire seven years of tribulation. There is going to be a lot of judgment. There is, um, you're eventually going to get sick. You're going to eventually need help at the hospital. And if you don't have, you know, that documentation under your forehead or your um, hand, you're not getting any help and you're going to die. So... You know, Jesus said that he comes quickly in the twinkling twinkling of an eye. And things are ramping up so fast right now that we can't even keep track of what's happening. Um, the peace treaty or the um, peace agreement that our American president is bringing out may be the one that um, the Antichrist decides to make stronger or to sign um, we see war on the brink right now with Iran. We see people wanting to come against Israel, which it won't happen because God himself will protect her. And all of this is leading up to the, the snatching away. I was attacked on um, Twitter today for, I'm sorry, not Twitter, um, Facebook today for believing in the rapture of all things. Um, I was yelled at for saying that Jesus is coming soon. I was yelled at for saying, get your life right. And they were, um, you know, coming at me saying that the rapture is not in the Bible, that it is a lie from Satan. And I am going to go to hell if I keep preaching um, about the rapture and keep talking about how Jesus is coming soon and I just basically you know said I'm gonna pray for you because that that is Satan trying to attack what I'm saying right it must be really angering the spiritual world that I'm getting it out there that Jesus is coming soon he Satan doesn't want people to know that Jesus is coming soon. So he's going to try to put a stumbling block in my path, and it's not going to work. I am going to tell everybody I know, and every day on my YouTube channel, I always try to say that Jesus is coming, and I try to give everybody a chance to pray the sinner's prayer and let you know that Jesus loves you, and I'm not going to stop that. So anyways... I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. If you have any questions about anything that I have in my Rapture Box or even have any ideas of what I could add to it, please um, email the address down below and I will get back with you. If you need prayer, um, I will get back with you um, if you email the address down below. Go on, please. If you email the address down below, I would be happy to get back with you and pray with you. Um, and other than that, I hope you have a great evening and may God bless you. And I will see you tomorrow.